Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos Caught on Camera Flat 7 This video comes from the TikTok user Flat 7 Ghost And if you didn't know, he lives on Flat 7 And he says that he has been dealing with paranormal activity inside his house for about 3 months now Although he is not sure what caused it but it has been continuously occurring so he finally decided to start recording these events On one day he is home alone when he hears something at the door and goes to check it out What he captures is undeniably terrifying What the fuck? What the fuck? <sighs> when he answers the door, there is no one there and almost immediately after, a bang is heard and the chairs have been moved on their own almost as if he let an unseen entity into his house when he answered the rattling door On another day he is working from home when he hears the same creepy noises at his door See, it's still happening Honestly, this is all the time Whoa, Jesus the cat scared the shit out of me Rory, you are really scaring the shit out of me. I know Rory didn't do that. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck happened, Rory? When he answers the door, there is nobody there once again. And the cat's tunnel toy that was just on the floor mere moments ago is now somehow on the couch and a noise was heard from it but it couldn't have been the cat Rory since the toy is too big to be moved and he is already resting on his cat scratcher this has left him completely baffled as to what may be inside his house with him but things don't end there the next day his peace is disturbed once again along with his privacy as he has this chilling encounter while in the toilet Right, so I'm just in the toilet and as you can hear the doors rattling so <laughs> I feel quite trapped but I'm gonna open it <clears throat> and see what happens That would help if I actually unlocked the door, wouldn't it? Was that you? I couldn't have been you. Oh, fuck off. 
The toilet door rattles on its own, but this time the cat is on the other side. Although I doubt it was Rory because it sounded like the same rattling that we heard on the other door, and Rory was inside and present that time, and he also says that the cat is usually with him when it happens. Also, something charges straight at him down the corridor, and that's when he decides he's had enough. This haunting is ongoing, and I feel like it is only just getting started, so you can check out more over on the TikTok page, Flat 7 Ghost, and let him know that you came from the depths. Before we continue, we have partnered with Steel Krill Studios to bring you The Voidness, a sci-fi psychological horror game that takes place inside the void, where it's filled with just gloom. The only way to see is by scanning the environment with your rangefinder device. There is also upgrades for your scanner, an inventory system, puzzle solving, jumping between worlds, and much more. However, you are not alone. Enemies can only be seen by being scanned with the scanner, and they can hear you from your microphone. And if that wasn't enough for you, the depths of despair will also be in the game. So check it out and let me know if you can find me. The game will be coming to Steam on March the 17th. Trouble Alone TikTok user Leandro has been experiencing some creepy activity inside his house. He noticed that it only seems to be occurring when he is home alone, and it has since been happening for many weeks. Fearing that he may be losing his sanity, he decides to record and document his experiences to show just what happens inside his house. And one day, while home alone, he sets up his camera in the kitchen where the activity is most frequent. And this is what he captures. Oxê! Que diacho que é isso? Tá achando que eu tenho medo? Oh, tem medo não. Se eu demonstrar medo aqui, aí que. Ele vai querer se aparecer nessa hora. Oxi, o que é isso? Oxi. Tá vindo um negócio ali? Só demonstrar medo aí que. Só demonstrar medo aí que o negócio vem lá. Mas eu, mesmo assim não tem medo não. Não tem medo não. Acho que eu vou lá pra casa de mamãe, né? Acho que eu vou lá, só pra ver como é que ela tá. He attempts to not show any fear, trying not to empower whatever this unknown force is. But it's clear he has been dealing with this for quite a while, and we can see that he is still afraid and nervous, even though he may try to hide it. He then decides to leave a camera set up in the kitchen recording while he is away, but the activity still persists. Você teria coragem de passar uma noite aqui nessa casa?
Mateus. Você está mexendo aqui na cozinha aqui? What looks like a faded pale face can be seen next to the stove before quickly fading away. At that exact moment the saucepan starts moving by itself and the lid shoots up into the air. Now, ever since he began recording and documenting his experience, it seems to have gotten much stronger and Leandro suspects that an entity is trapped inside his home and after doing some research on the property, it turns out he may be right, as the woman who previously resided in this house was murdered and the case was left unresolved. Perhaps she still has some lingering attachment to the place, but on another night while eating, his camera captures something chilling. Just as he re-enters the room, a pale face appears at the bottom of the doorway. On another night, he is woken up to some strange noises, so he decides to start recording to show what it's like around 3 a.m. Como vocês podem ver, tudo escuro. A dona tá ali, suave na nave. E eu vou mostrar pra vocês como é que é às três horas da manhã aqui em casa. Não são exatamente três horas, né, gente? Mas é três e trinta e três agora, trinta e quatro. Now, if you didn't see it, just when he goes to inspect the cupboard that opened by itself, we can see a white figure quickly rush across the corridor and disappear without a trace. And the next day later, while he's in the kitchen, he captures this. Barulho 
The curtains to his room seems to be moving by itself to one side, as if someone were opening it to enter the room, but when he goes to check, there's nobody there. The next few days he starts hearing banging coming from a particular room, a room that is practically empty inside. So he sets his camera down pointing at the room and waits for something to happen, which doesn't take long. The door slams shut and opens by itself, but once again he finds nothing strange inside except for a piece of furniture that has been moved and tipped over. A few weeks later and he is home alone when he captures something disturbing. Gente, vocês estão vendo tudo isso? Lá na cozinha? Até a parte do banheiro. Eu tô sozinho em casa, minha mãe saiu. Oi? The sound of kitchen cutlery can be heard, along with someone slamming the bathroom door and flushing the toilet, but nobody else seems to be inside the bathroom, or the whole house for that matter. So just what do you think is going on here? Most viewers seem to think there is an entity attached to that doll he has in the kitchen, but like always, I'll let you judge. If you have any video recommendations, you can send them over to depthsofdespairbusiness at gmail.com. Something in the woods. The next video comes from the TikTok user, Lisa, who was out training her dogs over by the woods when she saw a creepy black mass emerge within the woods, which vanished shortly after. So she didn't pay any mind to it and carried on walking with her dogs. However, when she returned to her car, the black figure could once again be seen in the woods, so she decided to start recording it. Eventually, she mustered the courage to venture deeper into the woods along with her dog, after losing sight of the black entity, 
and that's when her dog started behaving rather strangely. Off into the distance, this same black figure could be seen once again, just remaining far enough to not be clearly visible in detail, but it seems that the dog could sense it and was feeling quite threatened by its presence, as you can tell by the sounds it was making. She then proceeded to venture even further into the depths of this forest to try and get a clearer look. Whatever this strange entity was, it must have been aware she was seeking it out by following it into the forest, as it has successfully managed to keep itself obscured within the woods. And now she believes that this thing may be following her, as she gets the sense that she is being stalked and watched. Just what could this thing be? Is it some type of cryptid, or something else entirely? Let me know. Deceased. This next video comes from the TikTok user XAlien97. XAlien97 is a security guard who works at this construction site. And on one night, one of the construction workers was working the night shift over at this graveyard site when something terribly creepy happened. Ever since X-Alien decided to show the footage to the construction workers over at the site, they have since been afraid to continue working there. This is what happened. So I work security at this construction site, right? <clears throat> we got all the trucks. We got these real things right here. There you go. One of these. These things are heavy. Fucking, like you gotta really fucking push it to move it. Just a little backstory. It was a construction worker that he needed help pushing one of these. He says a guy came up to him, another worker, and he says, I got you. Just guide me and I'll push it for you. <clears throat> so I said, okay, cool. So he was guiding him. He kept telling him, back it up back it up back it up and he was pushing it when he was when they were done he went around the reel to tell him thank you and uh he says that uh he was gone The man helping to push the object suddenly disappeared as it stopped moving and when the construction went to Jose went around to thank him for the assistance, the man was already gone as if he were never there to begin with. But as you can see based off the CCTV footage, it's indeed true that there was never a man there to begin with. Unless, perhaps, one of the deceased spirits of a previous worker, buried in this same graveyard, came to aid Jose. This same construction worker eventually discovered a memorial photo of past employees, who used to work for the company, but are now deceased. And on that same photo, he saw the exact man who helped him push the object. 
and it turns out he has been deceased since 2015. So, did this worker Jose see the spirit of a former construction worker on that night? Let me know down in the comments below. Not my baby. TikTok user Ashley Meredith is a normal caring parent who watches over her baby using a baby monitor just like many other mums do and this baby monitor records video footage, audio and everything else. However, on one particular day, Ashley and the rest of the family just happened to be out together on a day out when all of a sudden she receives a motion detection alert on her phone coming from the baby monitor saying that a face has been detected and this is what was captured. These are the pictures I get from my baby's baby monitor. Detects his face, movements, sound, everything uh, and send it right to my phone so I can see what's going on with him. Uh, one particular night my husband and my kids and I were out and about and I get a notification on my phone that there is movement in a face. Mind you, my baby is with me and my kids are with me and my husband is also with me. So, of course, my mind goes to, oh my gosh, there's somebody in my house. So I look at my phone and this is what I see. What? What is that? Look at the eyes, the nose, and the face. And, like, it's clearly a face, right? Like, that looks like hair. But this is clearly a face. And it's not my baby. Let's go back to reference what my baby looks like on the monitor. Clearly a baby. Right? I mean, he's sleeping. He looks at the camera. Like, it's clearly a baby. <laughs> I have no words because I have no idea what this is. And I've showed it to several of my friends, and they don't know what it is either. And this is the only video... I cannot play back. All the other videos of movement and motion and faces, I can play back except for this one. And it's obviously very grainy. But I'm a little freaked out by this. And it hasn't happened since. But it's been on my mind a lot lately because I don't understand how this... I mean, unless it was a glitch, which is possible. But honestly, it's a, it's a little unsettling because we just moved into this house a few months ago. So what do you guys think this is? A glitch or something else? I'm not sure. And we don't have any dolls or anything, so it can't be like anything in the crib because there's nothing. What do you guys think this is? Clearly, a face can be seen on the monitor. But what makes this extremely bizarre is the fact that she was unable to play the video footage. As you can see, the line going through the video symbol and an error message appears when she tries to play it. The face looks as though it belongs to a baby with lots of hair around it. She then applied some photo enhancers to get a better look at it. Okay, so I did what some of you told me and did like the photo enhancer. So here's what it is before. Here it is enhanced with one of the other photo. I did two different ones. This is one of them. <laughs> and then I enhanced it more with a different one. And this is what it comes out to look like. I do not like this whatsoever. D definitely not my baby. Definitely not any of my other children. Could be from a different house, but what is going, what is going on? No. That's a no for me. I don't know. So, is there something creepy that resides in her house that was caught on that monitor that night? Or is it just a simple glitch or hacking of the device? She did note that she has experienced some other creepy stuff in the house before and often hears footsteps coming from the floor above when nobody is there. But as always, the final judgment is yours to make. That's all for today guys, but if you like this video, subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you never miss an upload. And with that being said, you can follow the original Depths of Despair on Instagram, TikTok and Twitter. See you next time, guys.